The rumors are true. One of the old Pueblo's most famous watering holes has run dry, leaving employees in the lurch and party people wondering why. Good evening. I'm Guy Actually. Jennifer Waddell has the night off. Closing time took on a whole new meaning at the Cactus Moon over the weekend, and nobody saw it coming, not even the people who worked there. So what happened to Tucson's iconic nightclub? Not in your side, get answers, and uh, finds out other old Pueblo nighttime institutions dropping like flies. Kevin Keene is live at the Cactus Moon near Broadway and Craycroft. Guy, good evening. On a normal night like tonight, this place, Cactus Moon, would be hopping. There'd be lots of people here. Instead, take a look. Its doors are locked. It's dark inside. And from what I saw earlier this afternoon, I know it's also empty. Hauling away tables, shelves, and kegs, workers gutted a Tucson institution, Cactus Moon Nightclub, here for 23 years. I would describe it as a Disneyland of entertainment right here in Tucson. It was a place that I think that if you were 21 or 91, you would be able to go there and, and have a wonderful time. Duamel Cassell used to DJ at Cactus Moon. On Saturday, without notice to customers and staff, the club served its last drink, and staff say they were let go. Cassell is now helping them find new jobs. And these people that worked at the Cactus Moon were by far the best employees I've ever seen in my life. And I know that I'm going to have no problem with placing almost every single one of them somewhere. So what happened? A tough economy, says owner Gary Graham. He declined to go on camera, but said ultimately not enough people were coming to the club. He also cited rising insurance and operating costs. The owner of the property the nightclub sits on tells not in your side the club had not paid its rent in months and had noticed to pay up or leave by the end of July, Tuesday. Graham, the club owner, disputes that. He adds he owns 27 venues across a dozen states and had to close seven of them in the past year for the same reason as Cactus Moon. Clubs closing, a trend visible in Tucson. Wildcat House on North Stone, open for 35 years, now sits behind a razor wire fence. Owner cited economic and financial problems earlier this year. Shark Nightclub on East Congress also closed. It's kind of sad to see him go, quite frankly. Are you surprised? Um, not in particular. Luke Cusack helped open Cactus Moon, now co-owns Redline Sports Grill, and says he believes the economy, along with stiff competition and rising wages, closed Cactus Moon. Haven't things gotten better or have they not gotten better? I don't think they've gotten better. I think it's going to be a while till they do get better. Um, I think we're still going to look at a three or four year trickle down effect. As a Tucsonan, can I expect more of this to come? I think you can. I definitely think you can. Since Cactus Moon closed a few days ago, competing clubs have already moved in to grab the crowds that used to come here. We've heard of several locations offering music and deals similar to what was offered here at Cactus Move. Cactus Move, all in a move to uh, help get those fan base that used to come here on a nightly basis. Live in Midtown, Kevin Keene, Kega Nine on your side. And what will happen to the Cactus Moon Sports Grill in Mesa? Yeah, both of these venues are owned by the same place, and the owner says that the one in Mesa will stay open. He points out that that one is a sports bar, so the and the uh, sale of food helps keep that place open. All right, Kevin, thank you.